Uh, but uh, we're going to address earnings. Uh, Symphony is trading with deep cuts in today's trading session after reporting a weak set of numbers for the June quarter, with profits dipping by as much as 49%. What have been the key factors right now weighing down the quarter? Let's address this with the management. Joining us on the phone line is Executive Director Nrupesha. Uh, hi, Nrupesha. Good morning, and thank you so much for joining us. Nrupesha, firstly, uh, I, I know that the entire industry uh, has been reeling under pressure, especially when this is uh, one of those key months when you, when, you, know, you have your sales uh, peeping, peeking out. Uh, what is it that's actually uh, bearing down on sentiment right now? And uh, what can we expect? What, what kind of an impact can we expect from your consolidated numbers on FY19 going on? Yeah, so as you know, we have published for quarter also consolidated financials. So in the respect of consolidated financials, top line is down from about 190 crore to 145 crore. EBITDA is almost half from 47 to 23 and PET is almost half from 39 to 20. Now, if we look at in uh, respect of uh, domestic business and in respect of international business, international businesses remain in tech and it is uh, strong and solid. As far as domestic business is concerned, in terms of the top line, it is down from almost 124 crore to 65 crore, so down by about 45 percent. So, as it is known, this is uh, on account of unseasonal uh, rains and hence entire cooling industry, whether air cooling, air conditioner or fan, have registered the degrowth. So, as of now, at a trade level, particularly at a dealer level, sentiments are low, but in the past, we have seen that uh, once a good summer sets in, and uh, uh, then everything uh, settles automatically. Uh, so in this respect, we need to keep our finger crossed. But having said that, uh, pain may spill over still few quarters. As far as inventory with the company is concerned, uh, of course, we are sitting on high inventory, but considering strong distributor sentiment, strong response from the distributors because of the brand and tax savvy products, we expect our inventory to be monetized completely in a quarter or at the most in two quarters. Mr. Shah, are you also suggesting that uh, there can be pain felt in the remainder of this financial year as well? Because considering uh, quarter one is seasonally strong for a company like yours, which has not panned out so well. Um, so what's the strategy that you're putting in place to at least, uh, or if you could share with us, what are the internal targets where, uh, you know, uh, so far the start of the year has not been that great? See, now uh, we need to really see our business in three parts at a consolidated level with acquisition of Climate Technology Australia. Almost 40% of our top line is coming from the rest of the world. Not only that, Australia being in Southern Hemisphere, its winter is our summer, our summer is our their winter. Moreover, for Climate Technology, their 40% of the top line is coming from heating appliances. And uh, on account of that, it will, of course, generate uh, turnover as well as profitability around the year. Second component is about the centralized and ducted cooler, which, of course, is doing pretty well in North America. In India, still, it's a small pipe, but in the medium to long term, we expect it to generate substantial business. And as far as residential air coolers are concerned, of course, our focus is going to remain in respect of the tax savvy products, innovative products, et cetera, et cetera, and to always keep an edge over uh, competition. And that will continue. But having said that this time it has been back to back second bad summer, so it may take few quarters to set off the effect. Okay. Uh, Mr. Shah, you spoke about uh, the Australian acquisition. Could you tell us climate technologies? What sort of numbers uh, did they garner last year in terms of top line and bottom line? And what sort of margins uh, uh, do you get from the company like Climate? Yeah. So Climate Technologies year end is 38 June and in INR, its top line was about 275 crore. EBITDA close to 31 crore. Its PAT was 23 crore. 
in current year that is their accounting year 1819 we expect that turnover to be in excess of 300 crore ebitda around 40 crore and pat approximately 30 crore which in terms of the roce will translate into close to 30% return on capital employed and return on ROC approximately 20% and return on net worth close to 30%. Right, okay. uh, Rupesh, I just want to uh, I have a question on your markets abroad actually. Uh, I do believe that you have a substantial business in Australia as well. And uh, you know, Australia of course is going going to go into the summer months in November, December, January. Uh, do you think that we can see a little bit of a recovery uh, in the earnings as we move into those months from your markets abroad? Also, if you could give us an update on your uh, Mexico and China markets. Sure. So as far as climate technology is concerned we completed its acquisition as on 30th June 18 and hence September quarter will be the first quarter post acquisition in respect of the consolidation so obviously on YOY basis its top line and bottom line will be the pure pure addition not only that we see that in climate technology down the line there are many many possibilities to improve its performance further to cite uh, few strategies one making it sourcing much more efficient mainly on account of our ground presence in china secondly it's having good dealer distribution network and market access in australia and also united states and they are not currently selling residential range of air coolers so for our range of residential air coolers it does provide market access and in about 4 years time we expect climate technology to register a turnover of almost 80 million dollar australian uh, currency wise which translates into top line in excess of 400 crore so 400 far, crore is something mr shah that you're suggesting that you can get for the full year from climate technologies right climate technology in about 4 to 5 years in time. about 4 to 5 years just an indication since you said september quarter will be the first one where you you start putting in the numbers in your consolidated pnl account what sort of initial start that can we see in terms of revenue from climate technologies in the september quarter quarter wise it's very difficult to give a break up but as i said earlier in okay, the current account india give me an indication for the entire fy19 what contribution can we expect from yes. climate so for accounting year 1819 its year end is 38 june so we expect it to register top line in excess of 300 crore and bottom line of approx 30 crore and ebitda of almost 40 crore All right, Nupesh Shah, we leave it at that. Thank you so much for joining us and providing an outlook as well as an update on the quarter gone by. Of course, uh, uh, Symphony for now is uh, uh, the stock is really under pressure uh, right now, and it's, it's down by as much as 16%. But uh, the, the company is suggesting that uh, a lot of these issues and challenges uh, will get resolved over the next few quarters, and we watch out for the kind of uh, aid that can that can come from its markets abroad. But for now, uh, weak numbers from Symphony. and thereby you see that weakness in uh, the uh, price action as well and with that uh, we're going to wrap uh, on this edition of the FNO show but uh, for more news and updates stay tuned into Bloomberg Quintana